Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Trigalia Lost video. I'm super quiet today because I forgot to record something in advance, and currently there is someone sleeping that I don't want to actually wake up, so I'm going to be very quiet for this video. I hope you don't mind. So yeah, it's the return of uh, ASMR Wokey for this video. So yeah, let's get into it, huh? So... Going on for this month of Dragalia, let's look at what we got. They are basically just telling us that hey, more primal stuff is coming. So, plan to add quests for the remaining four great rooms in the future, just look out for it. This is the current event currently going on. You can get people from Izumo to add it to your roster. No, the adventurous name is Izumo, my bad. Inamoto is the name of the land. But, uh, yeah, these are the units currently up on banner. Uh, if you can get them with the free multis, that would be ideal. And from what I can look at here, it doesn't look like they really have any indication about what's going to be next for, um, what am I trying to say? Like, the prize showcase, it's following up on them. They're not going to be featured on it. So I don't know if there's going to be a new unit, or it's just going to be all the old New Year's units, but just wait and see on that one, I guess. But if they're not featured, um, you shouldn't, obviously at the last day of the Calibator, that's when you make your decision, right? But anyway, for the rest of this month, they got Water and Shadow tuned, Adventure Versions of Ilbis, Catherine and Sazanka are getting their Mana Spirals, needed, so it makes sense. The Fortunes for a Coliseum event is returning. I also expect for this event that we will get more Yukata style uh, units, so look out for that. Part 2 of Chapter 23 is coming. And also the Princess Redive collab is coming back. So, I don't know if they're going to add more characters, but it's very telling that we haven't gotten a collab in a very long time, so it's only a matter of time until we get more collab characters. Next, um, Legends of, uh, Difficulty for Asura's Blinding Light is coming to Sinister Dominion. Prepare your stuff now. Prometheus, Simurge, Freya, Taishan, Gongzu, and Azrael are all be getting their Viv Unbind. So future updates. Certain onslaughts and defensive events will be added to Event Compendium. An update in late January. We will continue to add onslaught defensive and Coliseum events to the Event Compendium as time goes on. Uh, very good on them. Doesn't look like they're really going to be adding more of those type of events, so for the story, they may as well just add it to the Event Compendium. Event featuring the Royal Family of Albira will appear in late January. Some of the Prince's older siblings who have shed away from the spotlight. Ooh. We're going to get to see some of the other siblings, which is nice. For those hungry for more high-difficulty content, like a difficulty for Elvis, searching Cascade and Rise of the Sinister Dominion will be added in late February, and Primal Brunhilda will be added in late March. Wow, it's a long, long ways away. Yeah, it's a long ways away. And yeah, they say here's a bunch of Rubel and three summon vouchers. And that's all there is for this month of Dragalia. Alright, I think that's it for me. Sorry if the video's a little bit weird, but um, this is the start of the slow month. Um, I believe Dragalia said up until January, that's when the slow slowing down of the game is going to start happening. So that hopefully means to me is that there will be um, less events and more time to save. Because it's, it's, it's a nightmare to actually save in Dragalia. Especially if you like a lot of units uh, as characters and stuff, it can be really rough. So, interested to see this new direction, and hey, let's see what more Dragalia has in store for 2022. Hopefully we get a new collab and stuff like that. Oh, I'm almost walking them up, so it's time for me to go. Goodbye, everyone. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.